This is the 200 bed capacity healthcare facility, Sahad Hospital, with over 100 medical workers. It's part of the private sector critical role in unlocking healthcare value chain. I'm overjoyed to stand before you as we gather to witness the launch of this historic health facility. Vice President Kashim Shatima at the inauguration said, supporting such investment is part of the government's comprehensive strategy to address long-standing challenges and propel Nigeria's healthcare system into the future. As the National Economic Council, which I chair, we have prioritized investments in developing Nigeria's human capital, with health and nutrition being one of the key thematic areas. Each of our state governors is fully involved, on board. We have all acknowledged that no nation can optimize its opportunities without investing in its health care. And for us, this is only the beginning. I'm also urging the hospital to liaise with other NGOs that finance medical services to less privileged people so that the people of this community, particularly the indigents of this area, that have been displaced so that we can be comfortable in Abuja can have access to this hospital. The present administration's healthcare sector reforms are anchored on a robust roadmap designed to tackle persistent issues that have affected the healthcare system for decades. Today's event sends a strong message to all well meaning Nigerians, both home, both at home and in diaspora. We must recognize that healthcare is a collective responsibility. It is incumbent upon us all, whether in the public or in the private sector, to play our part in building a healthier nation. We commissioned this hospital. We pledge to deliver patient-centered care with empathy and kindness, foster a culture of innovation and continuous improvement. Partnerships with the private sector in transforming healthcare governance, improving population health outcomes, unlocking the healthcare value chain, and strengthening health security are part of reforms set out to boost domestic production of essential medical supplies and drugs, strengthen primary health care, and encouraging intervention, not just because it aligns with the Renewed Hope Agenda, but also because of its far-reaching implications for national development.